What is up YouTube and welcome to this Avengers 4 video. So if you're new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below if you do enjoy the video. So Avengers 4 Endgame, the trailer was absolutely stunning. But there is one thing in the trailer which we didn't actually see. This was one thing which was going to be huge, was rumoured massively and has also been theorised massively ever since the end of the snapping, or as it's known now, the decimation. Now, the problem here is we never actually got a time jump. There's been no time jump in this trailer. It appears from the trailer that it is just a few days or hours, probably just a couple of days, I would say, after the snap decimation. Now, it's really weird that this has actually happened. Now, if you will remember in Avengers Infinity War, the trailer for that had many, many scenes which didn't even happen in the movie in for example spider-man homecoming we saw scenes where iron man and spider-man were flying around together and it did seem like they were working together so this movie seems to be having one major piece of misdirection and we now know that marvel studios like to lead us astray when it comes to trailers we saw scenes where everyone was working together and running through the forest of wakanda that scene never happened whatsoever in the movie. So it's really, really weird that we never got to see it. And it wasn't even a deleted scene. It was simply just for the trailer. So many of these scenes may actually have actually been filmed just for the trailer. Now, there is no time jump just yet. And while it is easy to say, well, this has been completely disproved, we actually saw images of was really the Black Widow with her new haircut. We saw Hulk in, in a new outfit. And it does seem like possibly we will have a time jump in this movie. I expect we'll pick up with this movie just a couple of months later or weeks later after Infinity War. Then they will go on and talk about what's happened. And we'll have a time jump possibly. Maybe it will cut to like five years later. And that's what will happen. Now the weirdest thing in this trailer is the fact that we see Steve and Black Widow talk together. And they see at the end the comedy relief of Ant-Man. So it's really weird that he says that is this recent. And we have Scott Lang mention and ask them do they remember meeting me. Or, and, and they mention the airport the things like that. But... The top left it says archive so why the hell does it actually say archive that is absolutely bizarre because if he's saying is this recent well he obviously knows it's not recent because it's archive on the top left now there are many many different theories as to why ant-man is there how did he get out of the quantum realm we expected him to be out of the quantum realm during the time jump now there's one initial theory the fact that he could have actually burst out of the quantum realm gone back in time to when the avengers facility was simply a warehouse it wasn't an avengers thing he doesn't know when he is and he pops up there rocks up and he's like yo um yeah i'm here he doesn't really know what's going on now, on the surface of things, he could simply just go in there. They'll fill him in on Thanos and everything that's happened. And he's got his Quantum Realm van. That could come in very, very handy. Now, there is another theory which I absolutely think is pretty neat. And it'd be interesting if they did this. Now, we have Captain Marvel introducing Skrulls. We know that they will be shapeshifted in Captain Marvel. The interesting idea here is that what if the Skrulls finally figured out a way to infiltrate the avengers so they have been watching earth in the meantime and they realized that well i can actually infiltrate earth and the avengers by posing as ant-man saying oh yeah i was i was trapped all this time maybe they've been watching ant-man and they realize that well he's gone he's trapped in there they send someone with the looks and the shape-shifting skills to look like scott lang he then goes there and then we actually see Scott Lang pop up later in the movie when he comes out of the quantum realm. And we have like a thing where it's, you know, that meme when it's Spider-Man looking at each other. We have that sort of thing. Now, I do love that theory. I love that idea a lot. 
So let me know what you think down below. Do you think that Ant-Man is a scroll? I'm not going to commit to it just yet, but I do love the actual idea that he is a scroll, and we'll work it out just later. Now, there is another theory as well that what we could have here is the fact that the reason Scott is having an archive on his footage and is saying that, well, do you remember me? Hey, blah, blah, blah. Well, what if he actually went back in time? What if he met the Avengers and then proved that he could go back in time simply by going back in time and showing them the archive footage with him just out of shot? Now, that's pretty cool. I really do like that theory as well. And I did do a video yesterday regarding the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Now, we've got some insight as to who Mysterio is going to be teaming up with. And apparently, there are things called elementals. So, we already know that Hydra Man is going to be a villain this movie. And there are other elementals who are going to pose a threat. And apparently, Nick Fury has hired Mysterio. And he will be teaming up with himself spider-man so that's pretty cool there it's interesting that they are going to be teaming up but i expect this is all going to be a big trick for mysterio himself so more with that to come and more to come as well for avengers and there'll be theories at your wazoo but that is it for this video please drop a like please do subscribe and i'll see you soon and goodbye